Hey everybody, it's me, it's Bob. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I wanted to show you guys something that uh, we got for our daughter. It's a Goldie Blocks and the Dunk Tank, uh, a set we got for about 20 bucks. Um, teaching kids uh, ages 4 to 9 the engineering concept of the hinge. It's really cool and she's been playing with it, let me tell you, all day long. So, um, there's a couple of things I wanted to show you, and you'll see why when I get the thing unboxed. Um, it comes with these collectible uh, fish. Uh, the fish are like encased in balls, and, uh, and she really digs that. What she really, really likes is this dog, which seems to be the focal point of the whole thing. Uh, the dog's name is Nacho. Uh, I'm never going to forget that the dog's name is Nacho. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. So it's very colorful, it's really easy to put together, and one of the things I really like about it is that being so easy to put together, your kid's going to put it together themselves, which really does effectively teach them about the engineering concept that they're, they're trying to communicate here. It comes with this really colorful little book, and this comes out. So this is a storybook, which is the first thing that they find. It's very colorful. And they can read right along. There's a nice little story to go along with the set. And that actually, the reverse of that, is part of the set itself. It's like a background that goes onto the back, and I'll show you that in a moment. So let's just put that aside. This here is the instructions. And as you can see, very easy to follow along, very colorful. One, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. And, uh, here at the end of the instructions, it talks all about the engineering concept in simple terms, what they're trying to teach with the set. So let's put it together. Uh, let me see. So the first thing we need is four of these purple sticks. And four of these cubes. Now, putting this thing together and taking it apart and putting it together and fixing it and tweaking it several times over the course of the day, I can tell you from first-hand knowledge that there's a few things you want to keep in mind when you're putting it together. Firstly, after you put it together once or twice, the, uh, the connection between the, uh, these little purple sticks and the cubes, see this one's a little bit snug still, it gets a little bit looser, that's fine, but you have to be conscious of that. Things need a, a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of adjusting. See, that one just popped right out. Stick that in there. For, for, for the purposes of the model, it holds together fine, and it's easy for your kids to put together. Okay, that's number one. On to step two. One, two, three. We're already on to step three. We need three more of these cubes. It's a lot like Tinker Toys, but it's very directed. You know? You're really going somewhere with the model. There's one, two, three, and we need cross beams here. And another one here. Okay. And step four. You see where I'm going with this. We need three more cubes. And then we get these little pink bars here. Here, one more big purple bar here. Ooh. The first time you do this with your kid, you're probably going to want to do it mostly for them and demonstrate, but they're going to catch on pretty quick. Then they'll just come to you for, for help when they smash it, which will happen. You'll see why.
but it's okay. Okay, now step five. All right, take one of these yellow round things. Oh. Before you do that, you gotta get these orange star-shaped things out of here. And I found, after much struggling at first, the easiest way to do that is to stick one of these purple bars into the hole, and then it pops right out. Save your fingers. Just do that. Okay. And that slides on there until it's in the middle. And that spins. Awesome. Now, there's two different diameters of holes in this thing, curiously enough. I don't know why, because the business end is the smaller ones. The only, the only ones that are important. And then you take this, and you hold it so that the holes make like a diamond shape. I know you might be tempted to hold it like that, but that's just not going to work out. So, hold it like this, and don't do it that way. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but it holds the little dog better if you put it through like this, so it's more of a scoop. Now, this, I believe, goes in here. As it gets a little bit taller, you kind of have to be a little bit careful that your efforts to put it together don't destroy it completely. Alright. Cool. And step six. We have to make the other one of these moving parts. Now this one's a little bit different. We need two of these bars on one end. And we're going to get two of the pink ones on the other end. And you want to make sure that you leave... Can you see through that? You want to make sure that you can see right through that because that is going to go here on top of that. Again, we'll see in just a sec. We'll pop this out. It's here and there. And on the target... that. And did I do this backwards? Nope. There's no backwards. It goes like that. And I push that pink bar in too far. There we go. There we go. And it slides down. So the whole idea, is, and I'll finish putting the background on it too so you can see. The whole idea is that this platform goes up like this, and it rests on there. And the dog Nacho, everybody's favorite dog, sits, oh, sits right there, and you put a little cup of water down here, and I'll go get a cup of water too, and uh, when you hit this target with this ball containing one collectible fishy, it, I'll catch you Nacho, it pushes the target back, and Nacho falls down into the cup of water. Which is hilarious fun, strangely, and happens over and over and over again, to much glee. Uh, let me put the background on for you. Alright, got the rest of the little pink bars. And each one of these is going to get on the orange stars. somewhere in the model. Alright, so each one of these goes, let me get the box out of the way, in here. One, two, three, and four. And that, what did I do with the, there it is. A little story. Actually, background. And it makes it look like Nacho is at the fair at a dunk tank. And 
should be a hole. Yes, there is corresponding to each one of those little. Oh, I can't see it now. These little bars. Just scoot those on about an inch, maybe a little bit less. And if you line it up right, and if you're looking from the right direction, which I'm not for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, get in there, you. Get, get in there. There. There you go. Thank you very much. Yes, this would normally be much easier. But I'm doing it backwards. For your benefit. And you appreciate that, I know. And then you just stick these orange things on the other side to hold it on. And oh, here's the last one. There you go. Swish. So I'm going to go get a cup of water, and you can see it in action. Oh, we're leaning back a little bit. Oh, that's why. See, as I said before, needs a little bit of adjustment. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. So now we've got a little bowl of water there, and oh, I haven't fixed this though. You do have to kind of blind things up a little bit. Make a little bit of room for the stick. What, what's in the way here? Can you push that down further. There we go. One of the nice things about this sort of model building for your kids is then when things fall apart or they don't work out, they know exactly how to fix them. It's kind of like taking things apart so you know how to put them back together again. Except hopefully they don't do that with like your clock radio or something. Okay, there you go, Nacho. All right, and it works just like that. All right, so that's tremendous fun, and uh, I know my daughter loves it, and your kids probably will too. So thanks for joining us tonight. Um, I'm Bob for Bob Unboxed. And uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao!